Finish Line Due Date Management is one module of our suite of complete practice management products and can be separately purchased. It is designed to help you determine what main tasks or tax forms must be completed or started for a user-specified date range. You want to avoid penalties and make sure your work is started and completed on time. Finish Line will help you and your staff accomplish this goal. Let's get started with a short demonstration. Before you is a subset of tasks within the management system. These are all the 1040s that aren't complete for the 2010 tax year. The current highlighted one, Virginia Bartlett, has a staff assignment, a manager, and a partner. The default due date is October 15th because this has been put on extension, as noted by this checkbox here. Now let's add a new task to a client. Let's add another 1040. Hit the new button down here, select a client, look for an individual, and I'm going to assign this to this person and this manager, same tax year, and we'll make it a 1040. And I'm going to say get 1099s because this gentleman always forgets to bring them. So that's a primary note. And save. Now, you can see it's been added to the bottom of the list. If I put it on extension, it automatically adjusts the date to October 15th. But wait a minute, this item is already years late. I'm going to override, since I have the permissions to do that, and say that it is due by 10, 15, 14. Now, when a date, a default due date is overridden, it appears in red. Okay, so it's that simple to set up a new item. There is a form tools menu that helps you do the basic navigation, deleting and editing, new, delete, save, filters, and so on. But one of the shortcuts for adding a new record is just to hit this little arrow with the asterisk down here. Now I can run a report on these tasks that are incomplete by clicking Report Copy and Run Report. And now what you see before you is the 1040s that are on extension and a little progress bar that shows you the current status. If I would like to change my filter set, I click Show Task Filters, Clear Filters. Now I'm seeing everything in my due date system. I want to look at the things that the current logged in user, FOL, is responsible for, for the 2010 year. And I hide my filters and I can see that there's just two items here. One, two. Okay. I can, in basic due date, I can track when the information is received. And I also have some customizable status fields that I can use, for example, assemble information, complete preparation. I can change those titles, but once I set them, I've got to stick with them for all my tasks. That's the basic due date. If you want a more sophisticated tracking mechanism to track detailed uh, items within a main task, then these workflow items demonstrate that, and that's covered in a separate video. It also lets you project staff utilization, assign different staff to different elements of the task, and you can see here that's a 1040, and if I check, go to the audit, that's got a different sequence of steps, along with the budget and utilization reports. But that's not part of the basic due date. Basic due date is when has it been started, when is it due, who's responsible for it, or what uh, activities am I responsible for for this particular client. Shown on this screen is the basic due date permissions which I can limit the staff as to whether they can complete or delete an item. Over here is my basic form and task setup. So individual tax form, uh, it's a yearly based on calendar year. Those are some other due date options. They carry through when you add a new task. Down here, you can see a task, weekly meetings, the frequency of that, bi-weekly, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or a uh, task on a specific date, like an IRS demand letter would be a good example of that. There's a quick setup feature. I can select the 1040s 
and the group of clients that they apply to and copy them in. So that's going to expedite getting started with the program. The cloning feature copies items from one period to the next and lets you maintain history of an item. Being able to go back and look up a previous year's item and look at the notes is a very practical, helpful tool. For example, the client last year failed to provide 1099 info and we needed extra time to reconcile fixed assets. So that gives us a heads up uh, this year as to what we might expect or encounter. A calendar add-on module that synchronizes with Microsoft Outlook is also available that lets you show staff individual assignments of tasks and limit it to just their tasks. So for instance, here we have a data sheet of the tasks for FOL. I can change the view of that to a form and it shows the steps and the due date. So that item, I can scroll through like that. Here are my personal tasks. Here are my appointments. A comprehensive report generator is also included with Imagine Time due date that allows you to sort and save reports in a variety of formats and fashions. Remember, if you need more detailed tracking for individual tasks or subtasks within a main task, for example, if you do audits or extensive reviews or things that require 20 or 30 steps and have assignments for different individuals, you also need to project staff utilization. Then you need to consider our workflow module. Okay, that was easy. Now you have the basics of finish line due date monitoring. Contact Imagine Time at 877-520-1525 to speak to someone in our sales department or place an order. You can also download the free trial from our homepage or watch the instructional training videos. Please click on our homepage pricing menu for information about single and multi-user desktop pricing. We also have cloud pricing as well. Thank you for your time today and have a great one.